a week ago, um, my fiance and I were at our anatomy scan, 18 weeks. They do it around 18 to 20. Um, we were at our anatomy scan and we were just, you know, we weren't really expecting anything to go wrong. We did have to go to a fetal specialist because Noah has Chiari 1 and my dad has a cleft lip. So they sent us there just in case because there was family history. Um, but all the other family history was fine, you know. Everything's been going good. He's been weighing good, you know, correct size, heart still going good. We were asked by the tech if we knew what spina bifida was. Immediately, you know, my mom's in the waiting room because they wouldn't let her come in. And Noah was sitting next to me and we're like, no, we don't. You know, I don't know what that is. She was like, well, just so you know, I'm seeing signs of that on the scan. And I'm starting to see a little, see a little bit of, um, a little bit of problems with his brain. The tech, okay, the tech told us this. Techs aren't all fucking allowed to do that. By then, I texted my mom. I said, you need to come back here right now. I was starting to have a panic attack. And um, Noah's speechless. Noah doesn't have any words. He doesn't know what to say. And the tech's like, well, I'm gonna go get the doctor and she can come back and talk to you. I said, what you need to do is get my mother and you have my mother come back here and then the doctor can come talk to us because I'm not gonna do this without my mom. Like my mom is obviously like our rock and she helps us with so much and she's had children and she knows how to help me with my anxiety. My mom has dealt with my anxiety my whole life. So, you know, having them both there, definitely I needed it because I didn't know how to process what I was told because I didn't even know what it was. So, um, she comes back, she asks the tech, she's like, what did you tell her? And she's like, well, I'm not at liberty to say anything because I'm not a doctor. Well, too late, you think? So she told my mom she couldn't tell her anything, but she had just told us the whole thing. And then the doctor comes back and I'm literally panicking, like trying to breathe because we had read a little bit about it. And the doctor came back and she was talking real slow, like, so I just want you to know there are beginning stages of what we call spina bifida. It's a neural tube defect and it is impacting his brain. I just need to let you know that termination is an option. Like the worst fucking way to explain something and I'm sure I'm gonna get people saying, that's what doctors do, they're just doing their job, blah, 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 blah. I am a human being carrying a human being with another human being, with my human being mother in the room. I don't give a f how you're trained. We are still human beings and we were not treated as so. We were treated as like test subjects. So, you know, what started off as a very good and exciting day with a little bit of anxiety, not really thinking that anything was going to go wrong turned out to be one of the worst days of our life. Um, she made Noah feel like the baby has this because of the Chiari 1 and we ended up finding out from the neurosurgeon that Chiari 1 is not linked to any of these. Uh, we don't know exactly if it was a genetic thing that gave Levi the spina bifida. We haven't done the testing yet. Um, again, it's very early stages. It's barely been a week. It, it was awful. We had to tell all of our friends and family. We had some people tell us we need to terminate. You know, there's no there's no way he's gonna have a good life. We had some people very optimistic, you know, it's kind of like a devil on one shoulder, an angel on another. So it's been a very, very, very conflicting time. So basically I did go to work uh, this, this past week to try and stay distracted because we had an appointment with the neurosurgeon on Friday, which we just had yesterday. Um, very, very anxious because we thought she was gonna be giving us real answers, but unfortunately she just kind of wasted our time and was, I, she was explaining spina bifida things that we kind of already knew but then was contradicting herself a lot by saying you know he will have a feeding tube he's most likely going to have a breathing tube he 100 percent won't be able to walk his spina bifida opening you know spina bifida is like an opening in the spine where it doesn't close so she was saying that no matter what you know he's not gonna be able to walk but she was like then again i also don't have the scan so i can't tell you exactly where it is or how far along it is and you know there is a couple options, so obviously termination is one. The second option is what's called an in utero surgery, which is where they fix the baby's spine in in my stomach, still in the sac. And you know, there are a lot of good cases with that. And then 
and the third option is after he comes out, if he makes it that far, then they'll fix it after he's born. So she was, you know, saying that there is a good chance he could come out stillborn, but she didn't know anything because we've not done an MRI yet. So without an MRI of exactly how far along it is, she was just guessing, making us feel like absolute shit. I am going to include the clip in here of some of the things that she was saying. You can see that I was just crying. My mom was upset. Noah was at work, but he was on the phone. Our lives have totally changed in the last, like, week or so. She has a little bit of anxiety, so we had actually called Wilson to confirm how they do the fetal MRIs because um, she, when she had to personally have an MRI, it had to be open because of her, her anxiety. Um, so they said, yes, someone can go in there with her. They have to be fully gowned up, um, like, you know, so that there's no metal or anything on their clothing, and they can sit with her, and her head will probably be out for the most part because they're putting in that seat first. Correct. Yeah, she said yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Um, so this is being done on Tuesday. I'm going to send all of the ultrasound images to the radiologist now so that he has those. Okay. Um, so he can review the ultrasound images and compare with MRI. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know what got scheduled today. Basically, we were able to get... Um, the MRI scheduled for tomorrow, so I'll have a fetal MRI tomorrow at Wilson's Children Hospital. Um, this is just to see Levi's, you know, entire body, his brain. The MRI is really going to break down everything so you can see, you know, how large the ventricles are in his brain, the opening in his spine, exactly where it is. It gives you a lot more clear of a picture of what, you know, is actually going on with him instead of just kind of like guessing. So we have that tomorrow. And then um, we were able to get scheduled with Winnie Palmer Hospital in Orlando. So we found a doctor. His name is Dr. El Baba, and he specializes in fetal surgeries. He actually travels all over the country and does surgeries on children and babies and in utero surgeries and all kinds of stuff. So next Thursday, we will be in Orlando. We will be staying in a hotel overnight because the appointment's really early in the day, and we'll pretty much be there all day. There's so many tests that have to be done. I have to get an amniocentosis test, which is basically where they test the amniocentosis fluid in my belly so it's a really big needle that I had to put in my stomach then we'll find out if we're approved for the fetal um, surgery and then first week of May I should be having the surgery and then we'll go from there so I am extremely exhausted if you can't tell I'm also feeling very stuffy today pregnancy one of the side effects I've noticed is stuffy nose so yeah, right now I'm at a softball game. Noah's playing in a softball game tonight. And my friend Jaylee's coming. We're just going to kind of hang out. I'm trying to get myself like out of the house, distracted. Because if not, I'll just kind of sit inside and just be sad and depressed. A, lot, a lot's been happening. You know, it does feel like today was a successful day. We move forward. The biggest tip my OB gave me that kind of stuck with me the most is to take it one day at a time and so today I have completed today there was actually some progress I didn't think we were going to this morning I was feeling defeated because everyone we were calling was just sending us in circles and somehow some way Winnie Palmer ended up calling us and being able to get that scheduled and it's just one day at a time so I'm gonna go enjoy this baseball game and then the next update I will be coming on here again oh okay guys so I am currently in the parking lot for the MRI. I have to get a fetal MRI today of our little guy. I'm trying to think of this as it's not an MRI for me, it's an MRI for him, which really it is. I just hate MRIs. I had one, I was terrified. It was an open MRI, this one's not, but my head will be sticking out actually. My mom can be in the room with me too, which is great. So it's definitely gonna be different than my last one. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long, but this is definitely a big, 
I, I guess appointment. We don't really find anything out today, but we at least get photos of how far along everything's, what it looks like, what can be done, what's been done already, you know. Just being able to move forward, the MRI is definitely something that we have to have. So, my appointment's at five. It was at four, it was at three, but they had some scheduling issues, so I had to push that back. One sec, my mom's calling. Uh, I went up two times, so I'm on the third floor. I'm on the level with the little sky thing. I really don't care at this point, I just want to get it done and over with because next week we meet with the Orlando fetal surgeon and all kinds of different crazy things but this appointment definitely is a, is a make or break to see how far along things are. So I'm asking the Lord to give me peace and to give baby peace and for us to just be calm during this, just to be in and out. I don't think I'm going to make it to work after, um, I was at work earlier so working and dealing with all this has definitely been something in itself because I have had to take a couple personal days and it's just been a lot so I will do this MRI and then if I can give you an update I will if not I need to process whatever the hell happens in my own way hello hello everybody so I am currently on my lunch break right now and about a week ago I had an ultrasound yesterday I had the MRI but I have just been really anxious and nervous. You know, always finding out bad things, it's just, it's hard to cope with. So I wanted to go get an ultrasound to see my little guy and make sure he's good. Um, I wasn't feeling him move as much, um, and I know he's still in very early stages. I'm only 19 weeks, so Noah said there's some stuff called lazy days in like early stages of pregnancy, so I'm um, kind of hoping it's just that. But I needed this appointment basically to just ease my mind. So I'm pulling in here right now, but I actually wanted to bring you guys with me because this place is my absolute favorite. It's called Growing Love. And uh, Growing Love Ultrasound, but there's like a million different things inside of this place. Um, it's like I parked terribly. I just really needed to see him. Because um, we aren't going to get any results for the MRI for a while, so gonna bring you guys with me. It's just me today too, no one's with me, so. Before every ultrasound, you have to, well in your second trimester, you have to go to the bathroom. When they're too small, you wanna drink as much as you can, but when they're bigger, you want to let it all loose. All right, so mm. unlock your legs. Oh, I always, I always forget. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm scared. Uh -huh. yeah. Look at that heart. Look at that heart. Look at his tongue. Is it so good? Is like his heart so good? Yes, look at it. He's just too comfy. I need him to go crazy. <laughs> so he's at 146, okay? 146. And so what's the... what's the 120 to 180, so he's still totally normal. Okay. So he's got his little head at the top. Look at his eyes! Booty at the bottom. There he is, there he is. You he's see wiggling him? a little bit. Now remember you have your placenta in the front, uh -huh. so that may be the reason why you don't feel him as much. Mm -hmm. So if it's kicking, he's kicking into it. Look at his feet right now. They're both on top right there. So like right up on my belly? Right on your belly. And you don't mm -hmm. even feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't felt nothing. Oh, because of the placenta. Right, the placenta is right there. I needed to move. <laughs> the placenta? Yes. It, it could move. The placenta is not by her cervix, it's up on top of her belly. uterus, right? So it is on top of, like this is the, her, the top of her belly, then it's the placenta, then it's baby. There's a little tail end by the cervix, but only a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not covering it. Uh, only a little bit, but it will still grow and move as baby okay, that's what, grows that's and what moves. He does it still have fun. a lot of space, yeah. right? Yeah, look at him right now. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Ultrasound was good able to confirm he still has movement in his legs which is the biggest thing that we've been concerned about because the shit ass doctors we've seen multiple times um, first one told us that is severe second one told us that he would have no function in his legs at all um, and then his heartbeat and heart rate is still really good so definitely got some good news so I'm headed back to work I had to get some lunch real quick because not eating while pregnant is not a good idea. I do not recommend it. Um, two times. One time, the first time I realized I did not eat and should have ate. We were in Walmart walking around and I thought I was going to pass out. 
my whole body got the chills but I was sweating at the same time it was just not not very good dang what the hell is up with this so be sure to eat because it's super scary when you don't because if you don't eat enough you're not nourishing your baby you're not nourishing yourself so you actually feel a lot shittier than if you don't just eat for yourself um, so I got some subway like I said headed back to work being a mom, I guess, I guess you could call me a mom. Um, it definitely adds a lot more worries into your daily, but you get the hang of it. I am gonna be 20 weeks on Sunday. If I have the surgery, I'm already halfway there, but we won't find that out for a few more weeks or so. So I will keep you guys updated slowly as I find things out and I do things for baby. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna call it a win. Taking it day by day. Good morning. I look crazy. It is Wednesday morning. I have to get ready for work, but I also have to pack really quickly because we're going to Orlando. Okay, so this is going to be my outfit for work. <laughs> I kind of went all out today just because um, one of the other girls in the office wanted to wear pink. So I was like, you know what? We're going to wear pink. We're going to accessorize the bump. Maybe a better of it in here it's like this big blazer and then i have this skirt on and then i wore some black flats but i need to pick out an outfit for um the drive tonight and then all day tomorrow all right so first thing i'm packing is just some pajamas literally it's just a t-shirt and some boy short underwear because it's just gonna be my mom grandma and noah and this outfit is going to be for the car ride. It's a set from Daily Drills. And this is my outfit for tomorrow. I have some maternity leggings and a little bra. But I'm trying to find the shirt that I really want to wear. And I don't know where the fuck it is. I have all these clean clothes that I was trying to look through. And I honestly have no idea. Isn't it the worst when there's something you know you want to wear? And you just can't find it. Also, I'm gonna pack a lint roller and panty liners because pregnancy. And since Noah's, I still can't find that shirt that I need. I just can't find it. It's gonna be a very long day and they said it's gonna be a very extensive process. So I'm trying to find a shirt. So maybe I'll have Noah look for it when he gets home. I have this one because the leggings are high waisted. And I have, oh, voice crack. I have this jean jacket in our front closet. Of course it's not in here. There it is, it was in my closet. Just a cute little jean jacket. So, so cute but comfy. I'm gonna put this little journal that I got in there and then <clears throat> all my toiletries I'm going to put right here for now because when I get home from work I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to make sure I don't forget anything. So my prenatals, I just have a little scrunchy body wash, a razor because I think I'm going to be wearing like a little gown. I'm not trying to be looking hairy so I got all that together. Now I think I can continue to get ready for work. <laughs> this week. Put in that work. So we are about to get on the road. Noah is pumping gas right now. We're gonna go in a Wawa, get some drinks. I think we're gonna stop and get something to eat too because it's like almost seven o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. Um, everything's packed up and it's only a two hour drive so it's not that bad. So yeah, just gonna get some snacks, get some food and get on the road. We made it, we made it. It's a little dark. But we made it. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. I saw an actual meter. Hi. Hello. It's so nice here. I know. It's Hello. so cute. Which hey. beds, y'all? What are you doing? Morning. You think you're a professional? About to get some breakfast. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby. What you getting? Look, this cheese excellence. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm not supposed to eat it, but that's okay. We're about to get some good food. Okay, so I feel like I have to whisper. Because um, you're not allowed to take photos or videos 
in here. But we just got like 200 pictures taken of the baby and I had to do a vaginal ultrasound and basically they had to check my cervix to make sure it's long enough and they had to check him and basically look at everything like in depth. It was like a 45 minute ultrasound and it was long. And my mom was trying to take a picture of me and there were like no pictures so I don't really have pictures of anything but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we will talk to you guys after we talk to the doctor next. Hello everybody. We're back home from Orlando and I kind of wanted to just explain the trip, explain how it went, kind of tell you guys where we're at as of right now. The day was a lot of talking to a lot of different doctors, but we did meet the the doctors who are going to be doing the surgery for me and Levi and they were really really nice we were very happy with them um, they talked to us about basically what spina bifida is how the surgery goes how to be qualified for the surgery etc etc we had people talk to us about like different clinics for spina bifida children and the care of them after they're born Ooh, it's windy before that I got um, amniocentosis so basically if we were pre-qualified we were able to get the amnio if not um, I don't think they would have had us do that test so I did get that I kind of wanted to show you guys like my battle wound you see it it's just a little dot that definitely hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to I'm not gonna lie when they first punctured the skin, it didn't, but once I felt it go through my uterus, I started hyperventilating because it hurt so bad, and because I was hyperventilating, it was hurting more, so it definitely was not fun. I definitely felt super sore. I still am a little sore today, but definitely not as bad as I was. Um, obviously, there's risk to everything, and the risk of that was just miscarriage and all kinds of stuff, so I did have to take off today from work so I could just relax, which I felt like I was going a little stir crazy today, but I was like, you know what? Let me edit this video. And post it because I feel like I've been talking about this and I've been wanting to share the journey for so long. Hi, Mr. Big Guy. Hi. They love being out here. I don't know if you can see Elsa over there. They love it out here, huh? The amnio test takes about seven to ten days to come back. If that comes back with no chromosomal abnormalities, then we will be approved for the surgery. We already have the surgery day scheduled for May 11th, so if everything comes back good, then the surgery will be happening May 11th and I know you guys are still going to have tons of questions however there's not enough time in this video for me to sit and explain them all I just wanted this video to be you guys understanding what Levi has which is spina bifida in the L2 slash 3 region all the way down causing hydrocephalus in his brain and Chiari 2 so if you'd like to do your own research you can we have done tons and tons and tons of research at this point but we have taken so many steps so far to ensure that he's gonna get the best care that he can possible so we have decided fetal surgery is what we want to do we just don't want to take the risk of waiting to the end and at that point there's already so much that's just irreversible so we're hoping the surgery gives him a better chance and you know if we're not qualified for the surgery then everything happens for a reason but trying to take it day by day and you know one step at a time I was gonna apologize for not being on here after posting that last pregnancy video we found out about 18 weeks his diagnosis and so it's definitely been pretty hard for us to cope and feel the feelings that we needed to and get through it together and kind of figure it out so you know it's been hard but we are still still chugging along and we're um definitely going to be sharing little levi's journey and our journey mine especially with the surgery and all of that stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed again um if you could just pray for us pray for our family um send all the good vibes our way we will take it we need it so i will see you guys next time on levi's journey mm -hmm.